Hi, so this is an update on the Gigabit Twitch video. I had an afternoon uh, of time, so I implemented the Switch protocol on the Raspberry Pi Pico and a driver for an e-paper display as a small tech demo of controlling the Switch with a microcontroller. Or, well, actually, it's not controlling anything at all at this point. It's just uh, reading the Switch status directly from the chip and using the display to show some port information. So if I uh, grab the power here and plug it in, the Pico is powering the switch here and the e-paper. And there it is. Nothing will ever stay correctly here, but yeah. Here's a... Uh, On the e-paper screen, you can see the status of uh, all the five network ports, the four in the front and one in the back. And nothing is plugged in, so it just shows empty squares. It also shows the chip it has detected. This is the internal ID from one of the registers in the chip. The interesting part here is when I connect this up to a network. Let's have this all in view a bit. Grab the network cable. As I plug this in, the screen refreshes, the square becomes black and it shows the port information below it. And this updates pretty quickly, especially when uh, plugging out because the list of quicks to detect the plug the switch needs uh, a few milliseconds to actually set up the network connection. So if I show this more closely, you will see that it now shows that it has uh, a gigabit uh, duplex connection. This is not the most polished interface in the world, but you know it's what I made after messing with it for a few hours. This. Uh, some true program art here. This would uh, be a lot neater, neater if this showed some uh, tiny icons for network uh, ports or something. And uh, yeah, that's basically a tech demo of uh, connecting up the network switch to a Raspberry Pi Pico. And uh, to address some uh, other questions from the previous video, um, yes, you can run TCP dump on the network ports, on the LAN 124 ports, and you will get the network traffic that is forwarded to the CPU only. So if you decide to put uh, two of the network ports in a bridge and then put two devices on them, you won't see that traffic between the devices on the, the network interface because it's not forwarded at all. Uh, that's the whole point, it's uh, forwarded by hardware. And if you uh, have any traffic with the CPU as destination, then you will get that traffic as regular TCP dump, you know, whatever you do with it. If you run TCP dump on the CPU port that's connected to the back port here in my previous example, you get a very confused TCP dump uh, output because uh, the switch prefixes the network packets with uh, four extra bytes with switching information and uh, that breaks all the decoders in TCP dump and you get raw hex dumps. Another neat thing about the switch is that this whole setup is in theory possible to do without the Pico at all since the, the Realtek network controller has a built-in microcontroller. And it is, of course, the world famous AT51, the CPU core available in practically any chip that needs any MCU at all. And it has access to the SPI bus, but there is not really any documentation on how to program this thing. And, you know, the, the general memory map of the thing, and yeah, that would be pretty hard to get working. 
if someone does that though it would be really nice to make a switch that can directly hook up to any paper display to get uh, port status um well yeah that's it basically it's just a short update um if you like all the switch content or you know general electronics or wacky linux stuff um i have a patreon and a libra pay because you know creating pcbs uh, costs money and i would love to do more of it so uh yeah anyway thanks for watching